All right, in this video, we're gonna talk about the full slide line protection. And uh, if you've missed our last videos on the half man slide protection, you can check those out here. We'll link those above. We recommend going to check those out before you actually watch this full slide video. That way you can understand what we're talking about when we say slide, okay? And uh, coach, and for this instance here, we see a lot of teams, if you're not doing a half slide, you're probably doing a full slide because it's very easy to implement. Uh, again, when we talk about sliding, and for this instance here on screen, we're all gonna take a step to our left and we're gonna have this fullback block the defensive end here. So uh, coach, let's dig a little bit more into this full line slide protection, why you would run it and the benefits of running the slide protection. Yeah, so I think it's a really easy as far as uh, just a, like a, in this sense, you're just more so assigning gaps to everyone as opposed to having true responsibility. So it keeps life easier for the for the offensive lineman, it allows you to sort out some of like the line games and the stunts better as opposed to if you're running like more of a half man, half slide where you can do some different stuff where you're picking guys uh, to that man side. So I think uh, that's an added advantage. Uh, being able to pick up blitz is better just to where you have it gapped out as opposed to having to pass stuff off with the back. Um, kind of some more now looking at the weaknesses. When you only use that back, uh, you're really kind of screwed versus any sort of other overhang pressure, pressure. So with that that F back being responsible for the defensive end in the six-man version, if that R or the corner were to come uh, from the field, um, we would be screwed as we wouldn't have anyone to account for him. Now you can kind of make up for that if you bring that H into the protection, go into like a seven-man pro to where that H is more of the C-gap player, ideally going to be on the defensive end unless if he spikes down the line. Um, and then the back is now more uh, his immediate threat is if he sees anything coming from more of that D gap or from the edge, such as an overhang linebacker. In this case, uh, he can take him. If not, uh, his secondary thought is to help the defensive, uh, the uh, the tight end on, on the defensive end. Yeah. And coach, I want to just go back to the two by two look here and we'll cancel that out. Mm -hmm. Um and I know you talked about the disadvantages of being on this fullback. I mean, besides the obvious that a defensive end has to is rushing a fullback, right? And our right. fullbacks, if they're a smaller player, especially in the spread scheme, they're usually not great blockers either, right? As far as a running back stepping into a defensive end. Uh, so when we talk about if we want to get this guy on a pass route, okay, uh, let's talk about the the slide, the full man slide from. Um, a five-man protection scheme. We're just going to have him, him hinge on the backside and still protect those gaps. What's the best way to do it from this instance? Yeah, so if you do still want to use this full slide deal, I honestly wouldn't really recommend it uh, out of this five-man protection. But if you did want to, um, you would essentially just be man-on-man -on, -man, uh, on that backside defensive end and just really hoping that uh, no one from the backside triggers uh, then the quarterback would have to know to be hot. So I think uh, there's some weaknesses for sure to it. Um, but at the same time, um, finding a way to get it done within uh, having the ability to get that back out onto a route. For sure. And that's the point I wanted to make, right? It's you kind of have to have that six person in for protection because if not, you leave a B gap wide open, mm -hmm. especially if a, a team's going to have that DN rush hot to the outside and you're going to send that backer through the B gap. It's just you leave to your point, coach, right? You leave yourself a little bit more exposed. So this is mainly a six man protection where you can cover all gaps as you're sliding down. You can have that uh, running back slide down to that defensive end to play him. Now, coach, you mentioned the weaknesses a little bit earlier. Let's talk a little bit more on the weaknesses, and especially if you're looking to expose this full slide line protection. Uh, again, we talked about the defensive end on the running back. What kind of stunts are you seeing or blitzes are you seeing to this full line slide that could beat it? Uh, I think uh, more so if that nose wants to cross the face of the guard, he still has to know that he can't let anything really cross his face. So uh, if, if, if they want to do some different exchanges to where that that uh, end might knife into the B gap and now the, the nose is looping around, there's some things where that tackle might just continue on down uh, and then you and then you lose him as far as uh, uh, who's picking up who with, with, with the back, not really having a good key with that defensive end disappearing. So I think there's some different, different line games you can do more to, to the main emphasis is, is, is really attacking that backside. So whatever side the back is going to fit to, if, if you can twist to that side, if you can bring extra pressure to the side of the back, I think those are the two big uh, getting a little bit weird with how you do it potentially, but uh, the two main emphasis is really just attacking the back, whether it be with that twist game or with an edge pressure. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, if you want to bring this Sam linebacker around two to add two guys off the edge, or if you want to bring 
uh, this rover backer off the edge as well. To your point, coach, right? We're just trying to get as much pressure as we can on that running back, right? And it's take take where they're weak, right? The running back's not a great blocker. Let's go get them. If the mm -hmm. defensive end's not great on this side, we know we're going to get that one-on-one -on, -one on that slide. Let's go attack him on that side. So it all depends on where they're weak and how you can attack it. So that's the full line slide protection. Again, if you haven't watched the half-man line protection, we'll link that at the very end of this video. Let us know in the comment section below if you do run the full line slide protection and what advantages it has had for you. We come out with videos every single week, so make sure you like, subscribe, and we'll see you guys next time.